Hello from 3 chapter 10 video number 2 continue our title astronomer in the field of the contribution of some of the ancient astronomer astronomer in the field of astronomy okay so after the Aristotle actually Aristotle actually believed that the earth is a center of the solar system followed by Ptolemy the earth is a center of the solar system Copernicus, the sun is the center of the solar system. So now we go to number four, this Galileo from Italy. Italy, the Galileo. Okay, anything special about this Galileo? Invented the first astronomical telescope, farming the Tiger Tai Kong Wang Yan Jing. Okay, Tai Kong Wang Yan Jing. And used to observe the moons. He can see the moon surface, the crater on the moon. Hi, yeah, I mean, that is Kung. Okay, to observe the sunspot, can Tai Yang hate it? Wow. Okay, Saturn's the ring of the Saturn's. Okay, the ring of the Saturn's, 就是那个土星的那个环，他也看到 And the moon of oh, the moon of the Jupiter, Jupiter 的月亮，他也看得到 So invented the first. Astronomical telescope, but actually he is not the first one to invent the telescope. 不是他发明望远镜的，他只是改装望远镜变成太空望远镜。Okay, so the first telescope actually is invented by Hans Ripperche from Holland, 来自荷兰。He made the telescope and finally selling the telescope to Italy as a toy, 就好像玩具这样子。So Galileo brought The telescopes and finally modified the telescope and making the first astronomical telescope. 才制造出第一个太空望远镜。他改装。Okay, but actually he is very good in physics also. 啦，他其实也是很厉害的人来的啦。他改不改其实也不知道。Okay, and now using the telescope, he made the observation about the skies, study about the astronomy. 他开始研究天文。He see everything on in the skies, and finally, after the observation, he made a conclusion: the sun is the center of the solar system. And he announced to everybody, he tell everybody that the sun is the center of the solar system. But he facing a problem, because that time all the body, everybody actually believe that the Earth is the center and not the sun is the center. And because because of the some of the religious belief, 宗教的信仰的关系 the sun is not the center. The earth should be the center. So finally, Galileo facing a problem. Soldier catch Galileo and put him into the jails. Okay, now 被抓进监牢里面 So inside the jail, people ask who is in the center. The sun. Who is in the center? The sun. Who is in the center? The sun. So that's why finally Galileo have to make the announcements to tell the public, the Earth is the center of the solar systems. But finally, who is it actually the center? The sun. Okay. Or oh, another meaning until today, one thousand five hundred years, people still not believe that the sun is the center of the solar system. 太阳就在中间 Okay. 日心说那种叫日心说太阳在中心的说法，没有人了解，也没有人想相信了。Okay, because the Earth is in the middle, feels the best, the best. Okay, so until Galileo, the Sun is still the side. Okay, and the Earth is still the center. Actually, it's all wrong. Okay, and now followed by another one. The next one is the Johannes Kepler. Okay, from Germany. If not mistaken, if I'm not wrong, he's a German. He don't say anything. He doesn't say anything. Because he know, if he tell who is in the center and center, finally he will facing the problem, right? So he tell everybody, okay? He don't tell anything. He just said that our Earth orbit is elliptical in shape. 地球的轨道呢是椭圆形的 If our Earth orbit having the orbit and the orbit is elliptical in shape, that mean can you tell me who should be in the center? 谁应该在中间呢 Okay? So he don't say anything. 说什么都不敢说，也不要说。他老婆也叫他不要说，明白吗？说了就出事了，对不对 ？So he just say the Earth orbit is elliptical in shape. But if the Earth having the orbit and elliptical in shape, who is in the center? You know, I know enough. That 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 you know, I know enough. 来，在这边呢 ，Join the script, but you continue to copy 啦，你继续的抄下去。And 还有谁呢 ？Continues. Isaac Newton, Newton 来了。Okay. 
，来什么东西来的 ？Introduce the law of gravity using science and mathematics. He found the law of gravity. 他有他制造了地心引力的 law. Okay, and by using the law of gravity, he calculated all the orbits and proved that the orbits actually is elliptical in shape. And until today, when we go to the moon, when we go to the planet or whatever, or when we launch a satellite or whatever, we still using the law of gravity to make the calculation. And until today, it's almost hundred percent perfect, one meter, 不会错的，准准的。Okay, and suggests that the orbits of the planet. Planet are caused by gravity, so because of of the law of gravity, people now have to believe that they are forced to believe that. Okay, the sun is at the center and not the earth is at the center. 明白吗 But something that is very lucky for the Newton, he live in London. He live in England. 他是英国人 And this is the most no most modernized society. 当时最文明的一个社会了的 So that's why he not facing the pressure from the religions or not facing the pressure from the public or whatever. So now from London, from England, people start to believe that. Sun is at the center. 太阳其实才是在中间的，明白吗 ？But how many year after the Dome? Dome? 它是哆来咪过后的多少年呢 ？Almost one thousand five hundred years. So this is a problem. Okay. So Newton, Newton 开始人类不得不相信太阳在中间了。Okay. Continue another one. 接下来下一个是 Newton. Okay. Continue. 哎，继续。Okay, another one also from England. Okay, the fans of Newton called Edmund Halley. So, who is Edmund Halley, or any contribution? His contribution is what? Discovered the Halley comet. He found out that Halley will appear every seventy-six years. Okay, Newton discovered the Halley comet. 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 The Halley comet is going to return to the Earth after seventy-six years. So every seventy-six years, the Halley comet will really return to the Earth. Or another meaning to prove that the law of gravity is very, very accurate. 总算可以到的东西，谁在中间，谁在旁边，跑也跑不掉了的，明白吗 ？So this is Edmund Halley. 他刚彗星用自己的名字命名，对不对？有一点自私啊，以为是他的彗星，对不对？不过不用紧了，好过没有，而且很好听了，哈雷，对不对 ？So this is Halley comet， 你叫扫扫把星呢。So return to the solar system after every seventy six years. But remember, Edmund Halley not the first one to discover the Halley comet. Thousand thousand years ago, people already discovered the Halley comet. 上千上万年前，人类已经发现到这里东西了，叫哈雷彗星。OK， 来。Halley is the most famous comet, captured by Jupiter into a short period orbit 200,000 years ago. Since then, Halley has returned to our skies on average once every 76 years. Halley's ellipse brings it from beyond the orbit of Neptune when farthest from the Sun to within the orbit of Venus when closest to the Sun. At its last appearance. Halley moved through our skies like this, on its way to the sun late in 1985, and back out in early 86. Halley appeared in medieval skies when, in 1066, the Normans conquered England. This from the Bayeux Tapestry. Halley was the star of Bethlehem in Giotto's fresco. He'd seen the comet in 1301. That comets are periodic and return was predicted by Edmund Halley. He saw the comet in 1682. Halley's comet, as it became, was first photographed on the return of 1910. And when it reappeared in the 80s, the space age had a welcome. An international armada headed for a rendezvous. Two probes were Russian, two Japanese, and one named Giotto after the painter, European. Giotto flew closest of all, right through Halley's coma, the halo of gas and dust that vented from an icy nucleus, 16 kilometers by nine.
Okay, so this is Edmund Harris. Discover the Harry comments. And besides Edmund Harry, anything, anybody that's very important, 还有谁很重要的呢 Albert Einstein, Einstein. But 跟他有关系咩？天空的东西。Okay, famous for his theory of relativity. Okay, at once the idea about the relationship between the time, space, and energy. 他的相对论很出名。Okay, and in the formula, he joined together between the time. What's mean by time? Nothing. Space, 空间 nothing. Energy, what's mean by energy? Nothing. Okay, and all the theory from Albert Einstein actually is quite difficult to understand. And also nuclear fusion, nuclear fusion, nuclear fission, nuclear reaction is also come from these scientists. Okay, so why our sun having the light energy and heat energy? All this actually is about the nuclear reaction, 核子能反应，对不对 ？So he explained everything about the sun, the moon. Why they no, not the moon, the star, the sun. Why they having the heat energy and light energy? All this actually is related to the theory from Albert Einstein about the nuclear reaction, 核子能反应。Okay, so more or less, 多和少，它也是有一点贡献的。Okay, so this is Albert Einstein's Einstein. Okay, or look like what? 他看起来是怎样的呢？世界上最聪明的人 ，and the brain is the biggest. 他的头脑是最大个的了。Okay, 啊，很大个的。Now, I will ask a few words. <laughs> a country becomes really a soul only in consciously serving the intellectual life, and in the case of our Jewish people, it was really this. Endeavor, which concerns the Jewish people as a whole, we would not be in existence today as a community of people without. Not understand at all. Okay, but we have to grab our hand. Ah, 不明白要拍手，代表明白。Okay, so this is Albert Einstein's Einstein. <coughs> and the son, the child. Last. Okay, John Bowles. Okay, from England also. Yes, England discovered the planet Pluto when he was 24 years old without any university degree. He just an assistant in the lab only. Nah, he just lab 里面的一个助手罢了 So without any university degree, he found the Pluto and finally making our solar system having ten member lah. One of the suns, 就是其中一粒叫太阳 and nine planet besides. But few years ago, eight years ago, or maybe ten years ago, okay, Pluto actually was removed from our solar systems. Okay, so now our solar system just having one sun and eight planets only, lah, not nine anymore. But why the Pluto removed from our solar system? Because if we not remove the Pluto from our solar system, we found a lot of things. Not we found a lot of planets that is having the similar characteristic as the Pluto. If you not remove the Pluto, you have to include more into our solar system and making our solar system become more complicated. So finally, after the meeting, we decide lah. 我们决定把 Pluto 拿掉，要不然会更麻烦。Okay, so now Pluto is not available anymore in our solar system. But the founding of Pluto, the discovery of Pluto, it is quite very very important in other history that I cannot tell you today lah. 你不明白的啦，那些其他的东西，很多事情你还不知道的。Okay, so these are the ancient astronomers that is very very famous. Okay, in the field of astronomy, that's all. We continue in another video. Bye bye.